What's going on, y'all? Doing a little video here. Uh, this was from a stream I did over on Twitch. Unfortunately, I was playing some music that you can't really play on here. And so it's muted. I'm just going to talk over it. It's going to be a little different than the videos I usually do. We're going with Corbin Burns here. I usually pitch pretty well with him, uh, but I've noticed that the pitching lately uh, has been pretty bad for me. You can see that there's some lag. A lot of the pitches that I throw are, are pretty laggy. Sometimes the pinpoint didn't register. We got a little pop-up right there. So, the gameplay was kind of janky. You'll see some of the things right here. It's kind of jumpy and stuff. Robert, I do want to kind of switch him out. I like his defense a lot, to be honest with you, and that's the main reason he's still in there. This is a Kurt Gibson debut as well. I got Kurt in left field. I replaced Trout with him. You get the gold badge on defense. Quick little one, two, three inning, which is nice. Usually I give up at least one. A little cap right here. You can see the jump right there. He's got Strowman on the mound. I love pitching with Strowman. That one I just got under a little bit. I was late on it. Has a little fly out. Nice and easy. Acuna has been hitting bombs. If you guys watched during the streams or anything, he has been destroying the baseball. And there again, another no doubt home run from Acuna. Absolutely destroyed. Gets a trot around there. I think in the higher difficulty, Strowman's going to be a lot better. I do also give up a lot of runs with him. And there's Kirk Gibson. I know the PCI is under a little bit. I did think I got it. It goes all the way back to the warning track. My PCI, my hitting has been off a little bit. So Gibson in his debut so far, 0-1. We're back out. He's got Griffey up. Little cutter on the outside. That's one of my favorite pitches to do, a little backdoor cutter. I caught a little bit too much of the play right there. You can see a little bit more of the lag. Another fly out to Robert. Robert's getting all the outs right now. I'm curious who you guys think I should replace Robert with. I'm thinking about putting Bell out there, or Bellinger. You can see right there. That was one of the times it lagged. Uh, it did that about four or five times, honestly. Thankfully, none of them were right down the middle. Good little oppo hit. He was late on it. He was able to squeeze in between first and second. But who do you guys think I should replace Robert with? I was thinking about putting Belly out there. Look how long this one is. And it was affecting the PCI too. So there's a little fly out to Gibson. Keep the guy over on first. I was thinking about putting Belly out in the outfield. Getting uh, Josh Bell. Basically another, another hit in between first and second. Sager has actually been playing really well at second for me. He, he made a lot of errors at third, but I needed to make that switch. Machado was playing up in this one. Little pop out to Machado. Good little inning again, back to back. Got Corey Seager right here. Poked it out. He took a terrible angle on that, so it rolls back to the fence. We're gonna get a good double out of it. Usually when I see that happening, if it's flashing red or something, and I know that I can't make it, I'll just cut back. Take it on the one hop. Adley right there. And this is where I was surprised. Uh, I believe that's Griffey. He almost threw him out. I didn't know he had an arm like that. I haven't actually looked at that card. But Adley with a good hit right there and then promptly roll into a double play if you guys watch any of the streams. I do this quite often. I need to practice my patience. That's one of my big issues. Patience and, and PCI placement. There's a good little line out right there. It was something watching this back too, I was able to see that he was on a lot of the inside pitches, which I didn't really pick up on in the game. That's something I gotta be a little bit more cognizant about too. Tried hitting him with a little curveball on the outside to set him up for this pitch. Like I said, that's one of my favorite pitches, but he was on it. And like I said, he was on a lot of the inside pitches. Hit a two run tank on that one. Sinker on the outside. I do got to get better. There's Sega right there, like I was saying. He plays a really good second base. Compared to what he does at short and third, his second base is really good. Him a little back right there. He was almost on that one. And uh, you guys know Trout absolutely destroys right-handed pitching. And another fly out to Robert right there. So we gave up the tank, but we were able to get out of the inning with it tied. And then the pop out to Bernsey. We are going to have to get some, some runs. 
he is able to hit Burns a little bit. I did make some bad throws. Weak little ground out right there. I chased a pitch that I shouldn't have. Kind of did the same thing right there. It was good timing, but the PCI wasn't on it. That one I thought might have went too. Because you know the hitting is a little iffy in this game. Acuna, I fluked him a little bit. You can see the PCI right there. I was very late on it. I was nowhere close to it. I got really lucky with that. I was able to fluke him out that way. Kirk Gibson up again. And I chased another pitch. Another pitch to the inside. It did land. He wasn't quite fast enough. Maybe like P3 Gibson would have beat that out. Real Muto is up. I haven't really faced him too much. I don't know how good he is. And there's a little red. I knew Acuna would probably be able to make that even though he's a bronze. So I just ran right for it. We have a story right here. His lineup was kind of surprising, but as you can see there, he's going to get a double. He was a very, very good hitter. He fouled off a lot of close pitches. He took a lot of the pitches on the outside. And he was able to hit. He hit a lot. We were able to make the sliding stop and got the throw out. Sometimes I get that running animation when I do that and it, it leads to it being a little bit too late and runner safe. But that was a beautiful throw. We got him to chase the... And look at that. It just went right through. Our cap is a silver fielder. I don't know if that played a part in it. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it went right through it. We gave up a run. We're down 3-2 to two now. We were able to get out of the inning, so now we just got to get some hits. That was unfortunate. Hard single up the middle for Machado right there. I love hitting with Machado. I just wish he was a little bit faster. Yeah, Corey Seager right here. Inside, that's one of the ones that I chase. Hit it on good timing, and it dies. Luckily, he didn't make the catch, so we were able to get a double out of it. We got runners on second and third. That was another one I wasn't sure if it was going to go out. The good timing and the... ECI placement, I thought we might have been able to get it. That one I just missed. I missed it. I was late. You can see my reaction there. I was under it. I was late. It was just bad. This is a game I struggled hard with my PCI. It's something I've been focused on. I do a lot of practice and a lot of BP trying to get it figured out. He was 3-0 on Bellinger and he walked him, which was smart. Uh, Pitch to Robert, who's one of my worst hitters. I was able to fluke him there. We were able to tie up the game, keep the bases loaded. I didn't want to push. It was only 50 speed over there on third. Throw him again. There's another little poke. Opposite field. We're just going to play the station game one base at a time. We took the lead right there. Four to three. Stroman again. Hard single up the middle. Thought he was able to hit that. We get two runs on that one. Up six to three. Good little cushion right there. We get, still got two runners on. We got Acuna up. I was just early on it. I was early and I chased. You can see it on the outside. It was an 0 2 count, but I was kind of shielding from the, the strikes on there. And a weak little ground out to second base from Gibson as well. Gibson is 0 3 at that point. Not the greatest debut from him, to be honest with you. And I feel like we kind of choked away some more runs. There's Robert again. Like I said, that's the main reason. I had Jazz at second base for a while simply for his defense. That's pretty much what I got Robert on. But he does have that single with two RBIs in this one. But around the inside, I didn't get it in enough. Well, that might have been a sinker. I just didn't get it in enough, but luckily he was under it, popped it out. The short. And he hit an absolute tank there. That caught way too much of the plate. I tried getting that way under to see if he would chase it. And that was absolutely destroyed. Griffey up now, 6-4 game. It's the fifth inning. I'm kind of stressing a little bit because I know how my pitching has been this year. Deep fly out to Acuna right there. Got out of the fifth. Two-run lead. We got to try and attack on some more runs. Machado up again. And again, my PCI is just not on there. I was late on it. I was up. Easy little ground out to second base. Corey Sager right here. I chase it again. That was that was a bad habit I got into in this game. Luckily, he made a bad throw, a bad read. His his third baseman just didn't react fast enough. And then a hard line out. That was just unfortunate. Squared it up. Good contact, just straight to the uh, shortstop. That was a good hit right there. We fought back. He gave us something to hit. It was another 3-0 account against Bellinger. I honestly thought he was going to walk him again. 
And then there's Robert. I thought I destroyed it. You can see the piece has not 100% there and it was early. I thought, I thought that was a home run and it just died at the warning track. That was like the third one so far this game. Real Muto again. There's that gold at third. Machado, absolutely superb. He plays great defense. And there is an opposite field tank. I like to pitch with Joe Nathan, to be honest with you. He has a good pitch repertoire. You can mix it up nicely and you can tunnel a lot of things. Um, that pitch, unfortunately, I tried challenging with a fastball on the outside. I tried getting a little bit more out and it didn't happen. I tried back backdooring right there with a the slider. That's another one of my favorite pitches. He took the walk and then he promptly grounds into a double play, got out of the inning. That was huge right there. That was huge. One run game, bottom of the sixth. Brandon Lau up. I thought it was going to drop, but I shouldn't have chased that pitch anyway. It was good timing. I got the PCI squared up. Shouldn't have swung. This was another one I thought I got, but it died right there. Two quick outs right there, to be honest. And this one was a first pitch swing, and I should have took it. Grounded out with Acuna. That was a really quick inning for him. I think he threw like seven pitches or something. We got C-Check in there. He is one of my favorite pitches in this game. We got the K right there. His command is amazing. The movement on his pitch is really good. We got unfortunate right there. Another ball goes under his legs. I don't think I would have made it because I was 99 speed running down, but that's just really hard to see. He has to pop out to the shortstop right there. He's the runner at first. He didn't try to steal, surprisingly. He would take a little lead, but he wouldn't try and steal. And then that is disgusting. Slider right in front, nips the plate. Probably wasn't expecting that. That one, we just slammed it down like we were going all in at the World Series of Poker. Oh, it feels bad. That pitch was right there for the taking. And Gibson is 0-4. And mostly our fault. I thought he hit the one home run in the first inning. He got struck out right there. Devin Williams is... He's something else. I feel like I give up a lot of runs with him. Another quick inning. But everybody else is able to pitch really well with him against me. So I just got to get better at that. That is one of those pitches that it was so bad that it worked out. A slider up in the zone. And then he gets a gentle pop out. I'm pretty scared of bringing Chapman in, to be honest with you, because I feel like everybody sees him a lot. And without Outlier, I don't think he's as good as he's been in the past. But a lot of people still look for that, that fastball. So the off-speed pitches work. I got the strikeout right there. Devin Williams still in the game. Bottom of the eighth. Another weak little ground out. Look how low that pitch is. Good timing too, but it's it's something that I shouldn't be chasing. We got a one-two count right here. Up and in, and that was a ball. Bellinger right there. I thought I would be able to get in there. You can see the very late on it. Another quick inning. I started throwing this game. I started throwing this game. Quick little pop out. The way that Sager fro uh, stood there, I didn't think he was going to get there fast enough. Because I've gotten that animation before where he just shows up a little bit too late. This is another little front door slider. Guessing the pop out. He wasn't expecting those. I did throw them quite often. Here's another one. That pitch was very, very good. Got the strikeout right there to end it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it.